I bought a Porsche 911 996, and one of the main reasons I wanted this car was because it's got a wonderful flat six naturally aspirated engine, which should, in theory, sound absolutely glorious. The only trouble is, is that I found that this car, yeah, as standard, it's a little bit on the quiet side. Now, what I could do is spend a lot of cash and fit an aftermarket exhaust, but I want to save myself some money, and there is a way to improve the sound of this car and actually many other sports cars with a simple hack. This is Paul from PCW Exhaust Mods, and he will come to your house and do this mod on your car while you wait. The process starts by jacking up your motor and removing the standard exhaust, which can sometimes be problematic if you have seized bolts. For Porsche 996s and 997s, he then uses a special tool to measure up a bit of stainless steel pipe to create a muffler bypass between the inlet and outlet pipes. Once cut to size, he then uses a plasma torch to cut holes between the two pipes and then weld the bypass in place. This hack basically mimics the rather expensive OE Porsche sports exhaust fitted to early 996s, only the bypass pipe on the official part is more convoluted in order to make room for Porsche's switchable valve, which Paul's system obviously doesn't have. Then with the sides done, it's just a case of polishing your exhaust tip so it looks as good as it sounds and refitting everything to the car using new corrosion-resistant stainless steel bolts where necessary. After two hours, it's job done. So how much does it cost to do this Porsche? Uh, 200 for the Porsche. Do you do other cars besides 911s? Um, yes, anything high performance basically. Anything with an engine that is big enough to warrant doing. A lot of people say that size matters. Okay. And we're talking about girth. We're talking we about are talk girth. talking about inches. <laughs> we're talking about inches <laughs> of the actual pipe used to join the inlet and the outlet. Yeah. So have you tried different sizes? I mean, I play wind instruments and the size of the wind instrument makes a difference to the tone completely so it made sense that the the thickness of the pipe would only change the tone not necessarily the volume um so i found that one and a half gave the best tone having tried different widths now is the moment of truth so <laughs> i'm just gonna lower my windows and we're gonna start it up i'm really quite excited about this <laughs> Right away, <laughs> from the get-go, it's just got more... Wow, throat. Yeah. Here is a before and after comparison in a variety of conditions.
So then, what did you guys think about the difference between the two noises the car makes before and after the modification? Click up there to vote on whether you thought it made the car sound better, wasn't much difference, or worse. Let me know. Personally, I think it sounds so much better. And for 200 quid, my gosh, it's money well spent to make this Porsche 996 sound as good as it can. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and click on the big Car Wow logo to subscribe to our channel. Also, click on the video windows to watch my buying guide to a Porsche 911 996 and to see how I managed to get a big dent out of the car's roof. <laughs>